guys and welcome back to the sims 3 vampire zodiac challenge so in the last part i had kind of asked you guys how you felt about a lovely lovely nova and basically everyone that commented had said that nova is pretty much perfect so we are just are gonna kind of you know make things official with her be a little bit more romantic with her probably have her move in and even you know potentially have a baby or try for a baby i don't really know as far as like the wedding and things like I feel like we would probably just have a wedding at the castle because he doesn't really seem like the type that would want to have like a huge outlandish wedding. Like at the other, at the end of the day, he's just, you know, being with her to have kids. It's not like, I mean, he might have feelings for her. I don't know, but it's not like he, you know, wants this whole extravagant party and all of that. So we'll see how it goes, but we are going to head over to her house Oh, I think he just reset. What the heck? Where did you go? Did he just like... <laughs> did he just like glitch out? That was weird. Huh. Anyway, let's try that again. Oh gosh, where's her house? I can never remember where she lives. Over here somewhere? Yes. Go ahead and visit her house and see if we can do that. So, unfortunately, like I mentioned, her house is super glitched. So we have to kind of, you know, figure out how to get her out. Hopefully we don't have a lot of problems with it, but we'll kind of see. Oh my god, this car's real fast. Okay, wow. That is a real freaking fast car. <laughs> I mean, it is a Ferrari, so, you know. Oh, I did make some ha changes to the, uh, to the castle, which I'll show you guys that once we get back home. And I bought him, like, we bought him these cars and stuff, so... Yeah, he's real fancy. <laughs> real, real, real fancy. Are we able to get up there? Like, I don't actually know. Hmm. Oh, right. Um, I think the stairs are the issue. So, let's do cheats enabled truth. And can I just, like, teleport him? Yes. Okay, we'll try that. Try to teleport him. There we go. And then let's go ahead and visit. Oh, her little kitten is so cute. And we are going to take the little kitten with us. Because that would be mean to, like, leave the poor little baby to, like, fend for himself. And he's pretty sick and cute. So I think he's, like, a Japanese bobtail or something. I love those breeds. Hello. How are you? You are extremely perfect in every, every way. So I guess we can go ahead and, like, kiss her and just be super romantic. She is pretty tired. Uh, let's see. Do an amorous hug with her. I'm trying to get her to move in. Well, I'll probably ask her to be our girlfriend first and then ask her to move in. Let's... Oh, we can take a little picture together. That would be adorable. Oh, <laughs> They're just so Seems stinking like cute. Baby. They would have like the cutest babies. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's do a flirt. Oh, apparently Wendy found an amethyst while dumpster diving. Girl, <laughs> why are you dumpster diving? These are just questions that I have. Just curious. Uh, oh, I hear the little kitten making noise. Oh, he sounds so sweet. What? Why are you dumpster diving? Like, girl. I mean, I guess she's bored or, you know, power to you, honey. Power to you. But you really don't need to be dumpster diving. Tipsy. Aw, look at you. you. Oh, they're so adorable. I literally cannot wait. Uh, let's see. Let's do a wink. Okay, she thinks we're being extremely irresistible. Oh, Pose going steady. Here we go. So we'll ask her to be our girlfriend. See what she says. Oh, that's such a cute little moment. I love how the poor little kitten's like, um, I, I want to do things, but I can't because I can't, you know, leave the house. It's fine though. Oh god, her eyes look real creepy there, girl. Open your eyes. Aww. That was so cute. So they are officially girlfriend and boyfriend now. Which, you know, kind of to be expected. So let's see. Um, we'll compliment her home. We need to be friendly a little bit now. So that 
she will want to move in with us. So let's get to know her a little bit. I mean, we probably should, you know, learn her other traits and all that. We'll high five. Um, oh god, the cat just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cat totally just disappeared into the void. It's fine. We'll hopefully fix all of the routing issues once we move out. Getting out of the house, though, that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's definitely not confess to watching her so much she sleep because that's real creepy. Come on, girl. Okay, we're being sociable. Okay, okay. Has to move in. There we go. Let's go ahead and ask her and see what she says. They're both getting real tired, so... Oh, my favorite color is black. Hmm. Like, she would have no idea. I remember her favorite color is black. That would be adorable. Do you want to move in, girl? Yes. We'll just sell her house and stuff. Not a big deal. So, yeah, I guess we're good. Except the new household that we have. Guys, we are making our first effort into our queen so she now officially lives with us which is so cool so i'm gonna have to teleport all of them to the house because you know they can't leave god uh do you have okay you do have the car in your inventory that's fine with me let me actually go ahead and show you guys the changes that i made to the house now that i think about it so the outside is still the exact same so as far as the inside, I changed more of like the flooring and then coloring and wallpaper and things. I changed what um, plumbing was in the bathroom. So all the bathrooms are pretty much the same. They all have this tub, toilet, and shower. I didn't really touch this room. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Uh, the kitchen, I don't think I touched the kitchen. I don't think I did anything in there. Neither did I do anything in the dining room or this room. Oh, I did add in like a little alchemy... Um, like display case so she can put up her potions and stuff. I added a piano, the little living area. I changed the wallpaper in here as well. We have um, a different washer and dryer in there. Um, I didn't change this room at all. I don't think I changed that room or that one. So upstairs... I left Wendy's room pretty much the same. I'll be adding things in here and there as we go with her. So his bedroom is kind of a bigger change. So I changed the bed. The wallpaper is a little darker in here. I stuck with like grays, blacks, and reds. So that is kind of what that looks like. And he, of course, has his own like ensuite bathroom. And then downstairs, I didn't really change anything. Oh, so I don't know why this isn't showing up, but oh. Well, I'll show you guys in a second, but basically what I did is I um, changed this room in here. So I made it to where there's like a little bookcase doorway, and then you walk in and it's kind of like his, I don't want to say dungeon, but it has like a coffin and all of that stuff. So I will show you guys that in just a moment, but I have to teleport them here. You're in getting into bed, teleport you, and teleport you. Okay. See if we can do this. There we go. I know, girl. You want to try to go here, but it's not going to work. I might have to reset her. There you go. Oh! What the heck? That was weird. Where's the cat? Hello? Girl. There we go. Where's the cat? Okay, he's out there. All right, that's fine. So, let me just put the kitten... Mm, I guess here would be fine. That way he has enough space to do whatever he wants. Beautiful. Kind of sucks that we had to, like, teleport everyone, but it's fine. But I do want them to get a little woohoo going, potentially try for a baby, just because I really want to get that started. So, you come here... You go here. I know you're tired. I know, I know, I know. You gotta put a baby in her, though, because we gotta get that going. Mm. Alright, so. Romantic. Let's do a heat of the moment kiss. Uh, <laughs> and, we're not gonna ask her to forsake her vampirism. What? No, that kind of goes against what we need. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and try for a baby. They are so tired. They're probably going to sleep so late. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. That was weird. <laughs> like glitched out there, but it's fine. 
<laughs> they are just mm. so adorable. I literally cannot wait to see what their baby is going to look like. Or babies, because we're going to have a lot of them. <laughs> It's a turtle. So, so. Oh, I forgot to put a hamper in here. Dang it. I knew I forgot something. No big deal. Uh, let's see. What do you want? Brood for three hours? Okay. Feed him a treat. You're not going to have a... Do you have a job? Oh. We got to get rid of that. You definitely don't need to have a job. Oh my gosh, guys. The moment is here. I am so excited. Yeah, but oh, she tell? I love Maybe? this nightie that she has. It's real cute. I just love vampires. Like, I don't play with Supernatural a lot in my gameplay, but they're just so fun. And there we go. All right, let's listen for the baby jingle. Is she not pregnant? Seriously. We'll try again in the morning, I guess. So you all can just go ahead and head back to bed. Um, and then I'll fast forward through the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, guys, it's now morning and uh, Dominic is the first to wake up today. And I did have Nova go ahead and quit her job because she was going to have to go to work. So I just got her up real quick, quit that job and sent her back on her way. So the way that I see Nova is I don't necessarily see her as having to be a vampire that has to, you know, like drink blood from Sims in order to survive. Like if she wants to have a plasma pack, she can. It's not a big deal. Deal. Um, but I want to keep it strict for Dominic to where he specifically chooses to drink from humans and nothing else. So for her, it's not going to be a huge deal. But for him, like I said, I definitely want that to be more of a focus. So as far as our blood source for today, we do need to get some food going this morning. So let's see if there is anybody around that we can drink from. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, that was weird. <laughs> I just like clicked a little too fast there. Oh my god, it's like hailing. What is this? Why is it hailing? Oh, hey, there's someone. I think we drank from this guy before. But we are going to go compel him to drink. So it would definitely be helpful if we had like a little dungeon of people to drink from occasionally because having to like go out into the world every day to drink might get a little difficult later down the road. But we'll see how it, like for right now, it's not that big a deal. We'll see how it goes. But come on in here and get a little drink from the sky. Oh my God, that guy's like freaking out for some unbeknownst reason. Go ahead and grab yourself a bite. That is so cool. Like that is seriously so cool. This mod is the best. I love it. <laughs> He's like, um, no. And bite. I guess after that, you can uh, go home. I mean, oh, cool. It did take it all the way up. Beautiful. So, yeah, I guess I will see you later. Oh, I forgot to buy Sebastian's stuff. Oh, crap. We should do that really quick. I completely forgot. We need to buy him, like, a litter box and a food bowl and all of that. So, uh, I guess we'll put the food bowl in the kitchen. So, let's see. Pet essentials. Actually, let's do the cat category. Makes it easier. So, I mean, we do have quite a bit of money. So, I don't really see us being cheap about anything. Like, I want him to be a happy kitty. So, we'll get him that. And what else do you want? Do you want a cat jungle? Would that be fun? Where did I even put this? I guess I could put this out here. Uh, is there, like, a door? Out here, you know, I don't even know. I guess I'll just put it behind the house, though. Now you have a little cat jungle. Get you some toys. I mean, he's just a baby right now, so obviously he can't do a whole lot of things. But I still want him to have the essentials that he's going to need. Oh, a litter box, litter box, litter box. We'll put that in the bathroom there. Just in the corner over there. And a little bed. A pet cushion. Do this one. Put that right there, I guess. And I guess I'll grab one in their room. Just so he has somewhere to sleep when he is big enough to crawl up the stairs. There you go. And then you have a little cushion. Put that there. 
And was there anything else that I needed to see? Oh, I wanted to get a hamper. That's right. They need a hamper in their bedroom. So I will grab one. Uh, just put it in the corner over here, I guess. Change the color to a black. Oh, I guess it's like a brown. Doesn't really matter. There. So we have all the essentials for him. He has a litter box. He has toys. I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm sure I will remember at some point. As you guys can see, I also added in money because I don't really want money to be... Oh, I forgot a freaking scratching post. I don't want money to be like a, like a factor in this. Like we are able to have basically as much money as we desire. So I just want to keep it that way. There you go, sweetheart. Now you can scratch and I'll have Wendy fill your food bowl. Where is it? There it is. Go ahead and fill that up. Are you up yet? You are. So you guys need to, well, when he gets home, I will have them try for another baby. Oh, it's okay. You should okay, little nugget. How old are you? You have five days until you age up to an adult. Not bad. What are you doing? Let, leave him alone. He needs to go scratch. And she also needs to have something to eat, which we will do shortly. Are you home yet? You are. Beautiful. Okay, so romantic. Let's go ahead and do a dip kiss. And then we will try for a baby again. Hopefully she's, like, not infertile or something, because that would be just my luck. That she's just, like, incapable of getting pregnant. Let's try this again. Does she have any points by chance? No, not really. He has a few. She has a few. Aw, so cute. There we go. What, do you not like your scratching post? Can you not get to it? Try that. No, you really can't get to it. Is it because it's too far against the wall, maybe? Try that, little fella. Is that better? Really? Why are you incapable of using that scratching post? Oh, his little meow is just so stinking cute. Um... I don't know what to do about that. That's real weird. I always put the scratching post against a wall, so I don't know why all of a sudden he's having a problem. Is it just that particular wall that's the problem? Is that better? Okay, yeah, looks like that's better. Maybe it's just this particular wall that was having a problem. I don't know. Oh, they're gonna go do it in the shower. I mean, he did need a shower, so. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's listen again. <laughs> finally! Yes, finally, finally, finally. I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, do I don't have a hamper down here either? Oh my god, I, I clearly fail at life. You, oh, she's gonna go do laundry, not a big, t do you wanna put clothes on? No, 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 I'm just gonna walk around naked? Girl, hello? <laughs> Okay. Do you want to have some plasma? Girl, put some clothes on. What are you doing? Nova. Seriously? Okay. Uh, let's definitely have you put some clothes on. I guess she's just so confident in herself that she doesn't feel the need to wear clothes. I mean, power to you, girl. If you have the confidence, I guess you should like flaunt it. Okay, uh, then I'll have you go ahead and use the bathroom. I'm excited, guys, besides her being naked, but we're going to have ourselves a little vampire baby soon, and I am oh. real excited oh, about that. It's been a while since I've had, like, like I said, it's been a while since I've played with any occult sims, so the idea of having, like, an occult baby is going to be so fun. What do you want to do? You want to, like, travel and stuff, but you can't do that. What is this? Oh, you want to learn gardening? Yes, you can. A fire blast spell. I didn't know you knew that spell. Enthuse about new house. Oh, that's cute. And she feels like she's being hunted. Well, girl, that's probably not ideal. Oh, good. You put some clothes on. Brilliant. Don't know why you uh, felt the need to do that. But most likely in the next part, I will have uh, Dominic and Nova maybe go on a date somewhere. It's like a club or something. Just because he really hadn't gone on a date, like, she, you know, he found her and was like, you're mine now. So, yeah, she really didn't have a choice in the matter. Do you want to spend time with little Sebastian? You're more than welcome to. Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Oh, did I get food in his bowl? 
Yes, beautiful. Okay, do you want to come turn that on to make sure that we actually get some food going? Because that would be ideal. Everyone else seems to be doing good. Oh god, just threw the camera. It's fine. It's totally fine. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Leave all your comments down below. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, guys.